So basically, a light watt pin is an EM wave, no? So that particular electric field of that incident light is what is varying like this. But now you have to ask questions, sir. You only said that we should not bother about the wave nature of light. We should think about only the particle nature of light. That's still, still I'm going to continue. So what is the possible frequency components that are there? You expand this. You expand this equation. We'll see what will get it. E is equal to A cos omega naught t. I think we'll get three components, no? Uh, anybody? Cos C, cos D formula. Cos of A plus B plus cos of A minus B. Cos of A plus B. By two will be there, huh? only this much. Huh? Sir, by two will be there, sir. Yeah, will be there. Cos of A minus B. Uh, All together, this incident wave, incident light. <coughs> light sir, no, sir. By two. No, sir. Two should not be where, where two should not be there. Shall I remove sir. this two? Yes, sir. Inside two should not be there. Inside two should not be there. Huh? Yeah. Uh, no. Uh, all together, omni frequency components are there. This is one frequency component. This is one frequency. Omni different photons are there. Three different photons. The photon with frequency F naught will have one energy. This is one energy. This is one energy. Then maximum kinetic energy. So when light is incident on this surface, so there will be a photon with a frequency omega naught will come. There's another photon with a frequency omega plus omega naught. Another photon with a frequency. They, they will interact. So th this will produce. Uh, so, so many good questions will ask. They're just, I'm trying to this one. So when this photon interacts, so here electron will come with K1. So next again, this photon with a frequency how much? Omega minus omega naught. Here electron K2 will come. Next another an electron K3 will come. So in all the cases, what is K1? K1 we can write it as H omega <coughs> 2 pi F naught minus work function. What about K2? 2 pi F minus F naught. Among all this, which kind of will be maximum? I, I know again, say again, so try to understand this photon, whatever, will eject photoelectrons whose kinetic energy varies from K1 to 0. This photon will eject electrons whose kinetic energy varies from K2 to 0. Corresponding to this photon, this is a maximum kinetic energy. So here I think this is the best. So I need to take 2 pi. So I need to take 2 pi. It's F not minus 5. It's F not minus 5. Omega HF, no, it is. If if you want to write omega, then it will be H into two pi by omega. Energy is H into F, sir. This is angular frequency, no? Yes, sir. You wrote F naught. If you want to write omega naught, then it is two pi by omega naught. Oh, okay, okay, this one, this one. O o omega omega naught. In terms of omega naught, only we'll write it. And uh, this will be omega naught by two pi. Mm, yeah. Two pi I'll write it here. Denominator should come. Uh, this let it be in terms of omega only. Omega minus omega naught. Mm, okay, I'll I'll make correction. Yeah. Mm, no. So th this shall I write K max only rather than writing only K1? Among all that, what we can write it as? 
K3, K3 is maximum kinetic, the maximum kinetic energy of photon liberated from the surface should be corresponding to this one, no? So this should be the answer here. Among all this, this should be the maximum, no? But the wave nature should not be thought, let's see, what is the idea of this one is like a, all photons that are incident to open will not have the three, uh, you can calculate the energy of photons into three parts, like, h omega naught by 2 pi, h omega minus omega naught by 2 pi, h omega naught plus omega 2 pi. Due to this photon, this is a maximum kinetic energy. Due to this photon, this is a maximum kinetic energy. Due to this photon, this maximum kinetic energy. I mean, this photon will always liberate this kinetic energy of electrons of this, uh, say, photons of this kinetic energy. No. This photon will liberate photons whose kinetic energy varies from 0 to K3 max. Try to interpret that. This one. So, what is the energy of ejected photon? Should vary from zero to k max here. So, like this, we'll get it. So, altogether, what should be the range? Zero to k three max. Is it okay? Fine. Where the range of kinetic energy of ejected photon varies from zero to k three max, not k one max to k three max. Now similarly, one more. I think can can you apply the same method here? Sin C plus sin D formula, then calculate the resultant wave equation, calculate the frequency components, then maximum kinetic energy you can work out here. The, the same idea is what again being asked here. 